Yeah, everybody's so nice. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's much more social here, you know, bonjour all the time, you, <laughs> yeah. you gotta say hello, and back in the States, you just walk by someone, and uh, I'm still getting used to that, so I apologize if I've walked past someone without saying hello. Um, still adapting to it, yeah. yeah. The festival is crazy, where my hotel room is facing the, the street, and so right across the street is uh, Le Grand Journal, mm -hmm. the setup of the TV show, so late into the night we're hearing people you know, talking and Plotting. then music and applause. It's it's fun. It's kind. Of, you feel like you're in the center of everything. Uh, yeah. okay. And you knew the festival before coming here. Yeah. What can you do about this festival before coming here? I didn't know much about it, honestly. I had looked it up um, a little bit, but you know, I'm more of a go with the flow guy. Kind of, I'll uh, I'll get there when I get there and experience it when I experience it. So I I knew about it. I take French in school, um, so you know, inevitably it comes up once or twice, and then. This year I'm taking French cinema, so you know if you oh, take a French film class, you learn about Ken, yeah. obviously. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. So. Yeah. <laughs> How is it to work with uh, Sofia? Oh, it's, it's surreal. So uh, I can't believe I'm actually, you know. I can't believe here. we're doing press for a movie yeah. that we were in with Sofia, you know, directed by Sofia. I can't believe that any of this has happened. Mm. Yeah. Um, she's so cool to work with. She's so kind. Um, loves to hear your ideas. Works with you. Collaborates with you. And. Is a fantastic director. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Sophia is. She's a very real person. I think I, I don't really see her as a, uh, as the star she is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I respect her in that way, but. Yeah, absolutely. I, I see her as a person before I see her as uh, Sophia Coppola, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what, that's what helps me get past all this craziness, because it is insane. I mean, yeah. you come here and you've got this full schedule, and, and uh, how people don't go crazy I, I don't know but <laughs> we might go crazy at the end check in with us on Friday night we might be gone <laughs> we're doing pretty well so far yeah. so and, uh, uh, without the bling ring uh, what is uh, your best movie from uh, Sofia Coppola Marie Antoinette uh, uh, Lost I, in I like parts of all of them huh? so like I love I love the storyline of the virgin suicides and lost in translation I love the music in Marie Antoinette I love the cinematography in somewhere there are bits and pieces of each one that are just mm. fabulous, and then you put them all together, and it's like mm. the epitome of her work. Yeah. Sophia, you know, she brings the the art to film, and uh, yeah. somewhere was beyond my favorite. Um, I, I felt I related to somewhere the character, yeah, and um, she, you know, people people thought it was slow, but that's that's the life. You it's know, a very that's polarizing film, yeah, yeah. But if you love it, if you if you like it, then you love it, and I think we both liked it a lot, so we loved it. And if you can respect the view and the, the points of view that uh, the she brings, of it, yeah. yeah, take it as the, the truly amazing film it is. Mm. But is, is that true compared to uh, the Bling Ring? Uh, somewhere is, is a little bit slow. So. Yeah, it's it's m minimalistic, mm. so yeah. far minimalistic compared to the Bling mm. Ring. Yeah, but that just shows the range of Sophia. She mm. can tackle so many different styles mm. and still make it seem like it's her film. There's still some touch of Sophia in each one. Jack of all trades. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and The Bling Ring, it's a real story. Yeah. Uh, it's a famous story in the United States. Yes. Yeah, I it's, think relatively well known. It's at least gotten now, press. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't and say now it's... with the movie, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely now definitely with the movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it, it was definitely unique and it was definitely uh, mm -hmm. out there and risky and edgy. Mm -hmm. And um, I think Sophia did a great job of bringing that forth, and uh, I think the, she cast some pretty amazing women. And, uh, hey, <laughs> whoa. They, uh, she cast some great dudes, too. <laughs> the whole cast and uh, Sophia, you know, we all just bonded together very well, and we all we all worked together to create it, and, you know, I'm very proud of our work. That's and, the best thing about her. She's, she's definitely has a vision and gets to her yeah. vision very decisively, but you feel like you're collaborating with her the entire yeah. time. You feel like you, you feel like um, like you worked with her to get to some place where in reality she probably got you there. Yeah, herself. she really makes you feel a part of the team. Exactly, and that's yeah. very important when you're making a movie, you know, when, when an actor or even a crew member feels neglected and, and their heart's not into it, then you're not going to get the same um, results. Yeah. And she she's very good at extracting the best out of everybody. Absolutely. And I appreciate and respect yeah. that ever. And what about your next project? You are a young actor. What about your next movie? Uh, right now, I you know I just read scripts, audition, go with the flow. When the when the next one comes, it'll be the right one. So 
I've got a great team behind me, and I'm, I'm very thankful for everything they're doing. Definitely now with, with all the press and the bling ring and all the buzz, um, they really help me <laughs> stay afloat, if you will. So. Yeah, I mean, we're always auditioning and always going out for stuff. Um, a film I just did premiered at Tribeca Film mm -hmm. Festival in New York. Um, so we're waiting for that to get picked up and then distributed. Um, that one's called A Birder's Guide to Everything with Ben Kingsley, Sir, Sir Ben Kingsley. Um, and uh, I'm going to college in August, so that's my next project, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay.